In this video, we are going over how to set up for dash cam and sentry mode, mostly with the USB and then how to configure dash cam and sentry mode in the car. This is the complete video, everything you'll need to know about it. Let's rock and roll. Howdy partners, my name is Taylor, this is EV Electric. Today we are doing all the steps to install your dash cam for sentry mode, USB, all that good stuff. Before we do get started, if you guys enjoy this video, find it entertaining, learn from it, or just, you know, thought it was cool, give me some feedback by hitting that thumbs up button. And if you do so love it, hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. All right. so. To start this, we are going to go over a couple things, and that's going to be the USB setup on your computer, and then the file configuration for that USB, and then we are going to put it in the car and have at it. So some things for USBs you guys want to know is that these two are totally different, even though they might be the same internally. One is very easy to see and looks very flashy. That would be this one. And this one looks very low key. Let me, let me hold that up there. This one looks very low key and is much harder to see. You might ask why am I even talking about that? Well, a very common thing these days is that people will go in and they'll see a USB plugged in and they'll see sentry mode on your car and they think, oh, he must be recording. When they raid your center console, they might just find this bright colored big USB and they might just yank it out and step on it or take it. So just another extra precaution if the person doesn't know what they're doing. It's always nice to have a very dark colored, really small, just be low key, you know, you don't wanna show off that you're, you've got a USB under there. Or right, now for the formatting process of these USBs, there's three things we're gonna go over. Two of them are Windows 10, and that's gonna be if you are 32 gigabytes and under, that will be the first thing. And the second one is gonna be if you are over 32 gigabytes, um, you are gonna wanna check out that second part. I'm gonna have time codes down below, and then the third one is gonna be for the Mac users as well. And after those, after each video, I'm gonna explain uh, just the file format and you know the file you need to make so the car knows what's going on. Super easy, super simple, you guys. Really just format it, plug it in, it's good to go. Let's do some of those videos now, and then we will hop in the car and quickly set it up for you guys. All right, so we've got the USB in the computer. This is for anything 32 gigabyte and under, by the way. We're gonna get to 64 or 32 or higher on Windows in just a second. So let's go here. This is the USB we wanna do. If you are 32 gigabytes and under, we are just gonna hit format like this and you are just gonna have it set to FAT32 and you are gonna hit start. Also check quick format if you just want this to go faster. It's like instant and then hit start. Okay, so once we have it like that, you are now going to make a file, a folder and call it capital Tesla, capital cam, one word. Tesla with a capital T, cam, done. Then what you're gonna wanna do is eject, don't just pull it out safe to eject now you can just go and put it in your car and we are going to do that at the end so you guys can check this out and know how to do that now we are going to do 64 gigabyte which is what i would recommend this is for anyone higher than 32 gigabytes on windows 10. so we have our usb in here and i don't have my 64 on me but this is a 32 so i'm just going to show you guys this when you have a 64 gigabyte this fat 32 will not be here so you now can't do the easiest way possible. Um, there's a workaround, don't worry. It just takes a lot more time. So we're gonna do that right now. First of all, what you're gonna wanna do is rename this drive and just do it, don't worry about it right now. I'm just gonna change it to one letter, do something easy. It'll help you in just a second when we do this. Now to format, we're gonna have to go to PowerShell. Okay, so we have PowerShell here in the run, or this is the search. Then we're gonna hit run as administrator. 
Okay, so we have PowerShell open now. And I want you guys to go in the description or type this in yourself. And we are gonna do this right here. Copy that. And we are gonna paste that in there. And then all we have to do is change our drive the name. And this is why I made it one letter, super easy, capital D for done. Now we hit enter and it's gonna say, are you sure or whatever? Then you're gonna hit enter again. And here we go. So this is how you do the 64 gig. You can see it's already at 0% still, or sorry, it's still at 0%. This way takes a long time. It's horrendous. It's really annoying, but that's how it is, okay? And when you guys are done formatting that card, however long it takes, now you just have to go create new folder in the USB drive, and we're gonna do capital T, capital C. Tesla, capital C, enter, done. Then you're gonna go to the drive, right click, eject, get it out of the computer, and then bring it to the car. So for Mac users, plug in the USB, then we are gonna go to the search bar and type in disk utility. And hit enter to open that up. Once that is all loaded up, you're gonna click on the drive that you want, go to erase, make sure it's on MS DOS FAT, which is Mac's version of FAT32, and then you are going to hit erase. Erase. And then just to confirm, you can right click get info, make sure it says that for the format right there. Once you are confirmed and you know that, then it is time to right click, new folder, and the same deal, we're gonna do capital Tesla cam, capital C, one word, enter, then we are going to hit eject out here because we are safe ejectors here on EV Electric. Eject that. It is time to put that in the car now. Here's the center console, if you don't know what that looks like because it's a weird angle. Um, I've got my recently formatted USB right here. And open up this thing too. We've got them opened up and you'll notice right here that this cord is already here. That is for my cell phone. And this side, this whole left side, the driver's side does not have data capability. So just know that. So if you plug this in on that driver's side, you are not even doing any data. It's not even connected to the car um, computer system as far as I know. So what we're gonna do is with this freshly formatted and correct file USB, we are going to put it in the right side or the passenger side, if I can do it correctly. Okay, once you have the dash cam in, you are basically good. You can now access the dash cam viewer. Now, if you just hold it or push it down, sorry, and you can do stuff like that. Um, while you're driving, you can just hit this, tap it, and it'll save the footage. It won't do, it'll only do this in park. And then what I would probably recommend is for you guys to just go here and just make sure everything's set up under safety and security. And then we are gonna go to sentry mode and make sure you have everything set up properly because it's important to have it set up now so you don't get screwed later. For example, having it off at work or something like that and then something happens. Um, but as of right now, you are good to go dash cam wise. When you park, you just tap that, sentry mode is on. You are now recording, you are now writing and overwriting data. So keep that in mind. Also keep in mind, you guys, that the dash cam saves the last 10 minutes of footage. So that is really important. Um, it'll also save before, but generally it'll save the last 10 minutes when you go like this and you hit save footage and you can find those other ones, but it's not a guarantee because it constantly rewrites data that you don't mark as saved. Um, another thing is that all sentry mode footage is saved. I don't know if they do this now, but I'm pretty sure all sentry mode footage is saved when you get an alert here and it stays in there. So that's another time if that fills up, you're going to have to go in and delete them and re possibly reformat. Well, that is it, you guys. That is how you install sentry mode dash cam. Get that USB going. It's pretty simple, huh? It's just a couple steps you need to know and remember. 
Uh, one final thing, just remember how to do these formats and maybe um, save the way to do it because you are probably going to do it quite often throughout the life of the car, whether you're changing USBs or pulling it out or whatever you need to do. You know, just know how to do it. And then after you set up the stuff in the car you like, it's just plug and play after that. You just will reformat, plug it in, and you are good to go. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video.